Meet the newest residents at the Warrior Canine Connection, the Valor Litter. Mike, Murphy, Goldie, Lily, Paul, and Donnie. Six precious golden retriever puppies who will someday serve a veteran with post-traumatic stress disorder or any other war injury. The Warrior Canine Connection is getting national recognition for its program that trains service members with PTSD to raise future service dogs for wounded veterans. We're, we're looking at some very uh, uh, exciting science uh, and, and really trying to understand from that perspective what, uh, what's happening underneath the skin in the warriors who are training our dogs. It's an exciting time for the organization. The Department of Defense has awarded the WCC a grant for a three-year study to understand the science behind why these dogs are helping veterans with PTSD. The group was also awarded a $40,000 grant from Montgomery County and has secured a new lease agreement with the state to relocate the Warrior Canine Connection within Seneca Creek State Park a move that Yount says will help them expand their concept. The invisible wounds of war, psychological injuries, post-traumatic stress, traumatic brain injury, it's a huge problem and it's affecting every community in this country. And we see that we have a, a what's appearing to be a very effective way of addressing those symptoms in a non-pharmaceutical and more natural healing way. And to meet the needs of this, this unfortunately uh, incredibly uh, large problem, uh, this new property will allow us to bring in uh, veterans, warriors who are transitioning to veteran status who want to make the service dog training a vocational path for themselves. On our visit back to the Warrior Canine Connection, we bumped into some old friends who were in for weekly training. Oh, you're just going to go through and work on these two little things first. With Cheryl Bingham Woo! and Chris Beatty. They are getting close to being ready to go off with a veteran for more training. Yes, come on, come on. Before they settle in with their final owner at two and a half years old. What's the difference between the two classes? In the first group of dogs that you had, you were doing more like obstacle courses, it looked yeah, like. Yeah, they're What's... a little more advanced. Up. Oh. Good. Good. They've learned probably 50% of the commands. Good. This is getting, you know, building confidence for them, getting them uh, used to different. Uh, you know, like I said, obstacles, jumping over things, jumping on things, walk around things that move, uh, following their handlers and things like that. I think she did fantastic. Yeah. She looked like she was enjoying herself. This is Stanley. He's named for Corporal Stanley Giza. Go through. He went through the tunnels without a problem. Good job, Stanley. Good job. When we tell them we want them to do it up, up. Oh. it's just their two paws up. When we say jump on, it's our whole body up on something, and she got a little confused. And I had to have a lot of patience with her. <laughs> just your paws. No. About getting her to do the just the up. During training, puppy parents are instructed to use a happy, high pitched tone of voice <laughs> when praising the dog. <laughs> she then it was time for puppy training. Uh, puppies are getting introduced to uh, them, teaching their, their, their first commands, mainly just getting them used to different environments, distractions, getting them used to a lot of different uh, uh, just atmospheres and scenarios, things like that. Some were a bit more attentive <laughs> than others. Come on, get those little feet up. Come on, come on. Oh my God, you're so close. Are you trying to get him to go across there? What was taking so long? What do you think was taking him so long? I didn't have enough treats. <laughs> He's like, you've only got one treat in your hand. He's like, eh, eh. He's like, I'm a three treat dog. <laughs> But Bingham says overall the Valor Litter is a pretty bright bunch. They are quick learners. These little guys already have practiced about 15 commands. Sit! Yes. That's what I love about training, what you don't think you can get the dog doing when you're not asking if they do it. And they do learn at this age, even though they're only eight, nine weeks old. Will they oh remember goodness. They remember what you're teaching? Very well. Mike's perfect. And the first time we took him out in public, he had no problems. He's way better than I would have thought. They are ready to see the world and, and adventure out and no fear, just woo! <laughs> um, so yeah, this is actually a great age to learn. Very receptive and fun. 
The saying at the Warrior Canine Connection is serving humankind for more than 30,000 years. Yount says there are plenty of anecdotal stories about the bond of humans and dogs. I got some video of the puppy going through the tunnel and then I got a big old kiss. <laughs> but he says it's his goal to take it past the warm and fuzzy stage. To turn them from puppy into the ultimate social being that can help connect with service members that we're working with. To develop hard science that says what they are doing is a safe and effective intervention that can give our soldiers their lives back. In five years, the science, you know, we want to you know, have solid science saying, yes, unquestionably, this works. And here are the numbers. This, here's the impact of, of these dogs in this training program on sleep, social interaction, depression, medication reduction, pain levels. You know, we want to have all of, all of that uh, covered and, and demonstrated that, yes, sometimes these dogs can do what, and this program can do sometimes what other therapies can't do. Come on!